Today is the first full day of the New World Order. Outdoor gatherings are limited to two people. Exercise is allowed, but no further than a 10-kilometre radius from your home. Browsing in shops is not permitted. Only one person per household may leave to do essential shopping. And from tomorrow, funerals are limited to 10 people. This is a world pandemic. It's a one-in-100-year event. So you can expect that we will have transmission uh, from time to time, and that's just the way it is. We've got to accept that this is the new world order. We've got to accept that this is the new world order. This is the new world order. This is the new world order. Today is the first full day of the new world order. The new world order. The new world, new world, new world order. I want to be straight with you. There will be no return to the old normal for the foreseeable future. I repeat. There will be no return to the old normal for the foreseeable future. So people assume uh, we are just going back uh, to the good old world which we had um, and everything will be normal again in how we are used to normal, in the old fashion. This is, uh, let's say, fiction. It will not happen. A vaccine on its own will not end the pandemic. Surveillance will need to continue people will still need to be tested, isolated and cared for. Contacts will still need to be traced and quarantined. Communities will still need to be engaged. It is a big idea, a new world order. New world order. We can find meaning and reward by serving some higher purpose than ourselves. A shining purpose, the illumination of a thousand points of light. It's no longer a theory. What I'm about to say is fact. The secret organizations of the world power elite are no longer secret. They have planned and are now leading us into a one world communist government. This is terrorism of the most worst kind, brought on you by our own government. To lead in shaping a new world order for the 21st century.